Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Jessica. Welcome to Jessica's World. Today I'm going to be doing a mukbang. I'm, I have some um, some church's chicken. I got a five piece with some okra and some um and some mashed potatoes and two biscuits. Got a lot of hot sauce and honey. And I'm doing a story time attached to this. So. The first story is the first time I ever got caught skipping class. I didn't skip school, I just skipped class. I was still at school, but I wasn't in class. This is in middle school. And I had this friend, we're gonna call her Sagittarius. No, not Sagittarius. We're gonna call her Capricorn. Because I think she was Capricorn. And so, maybe this girl, we have been friends for, we have been friends since like elementary. So, at my middle school, um, I think it's was like middle school, um, PE was like, everybody had PE different periods. And so, I had already, I think I had already been to PE, I think I had PE, I think, I don't think I have been to PE yet. So, I think I had to eat at the end whatever. of the day. Because I'd rather like put in the day kind of and go home because I ain't like to be all sweaty and shit at um, school. Albums. So, uh, I think this is one day, my homegirl like, like, hit me up. I think it was like before we got to school. And was like, hey, you should come to my PE class today. And I was like, I can't do that. And she was like, why? Because um, I'm out of class at that time. And she's like, well, just still come, you, you come chill with me. And so I did. I felt, I felt nervous when I was doing it. Uh, and I ended up doing that. Um, okay, so I'm in a chilling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just not trying to get noticed too much. But see, the thing, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing right here. She had lunch. I mean, she had PE during lunch during lunch year. And so, the good thing was that, that her lunch was was it? Was not like had to see because I was supposed to be in there. It wasn't, but that was good. I was all my life. I had been to lunch. I ate, and then the next thing you know. I think either my mom called school to talk to me or something. Because, see, my mom used to work at the school. This is why I met My mom used to work at the school, and she had friends, and she knew the whole entire staff. And then she had called to tell me something, and they had called the room, my classroom. My class and my teacher. No, no, it's either that way or the fact that my teacher called my mom. To see why I wasn't in school because I never missed school, so and so next thing you know, I got all calls of the the intercom. I said, Jessica, please report to the office. Jessica, please report to the office. And I was like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. So me being trying to be a smart ass, I started reporting to. The to the um, office, my dumb ass had, okay, um, you know what, I can't get in trouble, so I'm going to go to the office, like, shit, so, my dumb ass decided, hey, I'm just going to continue like, going with the day, like, I nothing happened, like, I just went to the class, like, a few minutes ago, so I went to my sixth period class, so I went to my seventh period, at the end of the day, I got on a bus, to come home. And lo and behold, when I get home, my mom asked me, um, so where were you today? I said, I was in, what do you mean? She like, where were you? You weren't in class. I was like, I was. Um, no, I, what happened was I went to the bathroom. They, she was like, then why didn't you call me back? I was like, I didn't know you had called me. I had a back stomach ache. She was like, no, you were skipping. Who were you skipping with? I was like, nobody. She was like, you're lying to me. And I ended up getting in trouble. 
I got caught sleeping. I was so upset. She told me I couldn't talk on the phone. She told me not to call you and that girl. Y'all can't talk on the phone no more and stuff like that. And then she said she was going to call her mom and talk to her. And I was like, oh my God, this is just too much. I was upset. And so I got in trouble for that. And then another uh, story is I got in trouble again with this same friend. This same friend um, got me in trouble again because um, me and her, we stayed in the same neighborhood. Like, she stayed, like, around the corner from me. And one day, um, we normally was, I normally was somewhere, I normally was a car rider. I think, where's my car rider right here? I think I was a car rider. But that day, I was supposed to be a car rider. So, um... This was like before middle school. This was like it was elementary. I, I was car riding really elementary. I mean, I, I got picked up and dropped off by either a parent or somebody it, or a guardian. Like, yeah, so, that day, um, me and my cousin, we both had to ride the, um, the bus. The single line bus, well, well, the bus. We had to ride the bus home because nobody could come pick us up at school. So we get on the bus, and that day, I, I didn't know that my best friend rode the bus, same, rode that bus too. And so, he come, yet again, this, this was before this had, the first time I had gotten in trouble with her. So here, here she goes saying, oh, you want to call my house? I was like, but at that time, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a phone in middle school. I didn't get a phone to like, no, I had a phone in elementary. I didn't get a phone to middle school. And so, so, like, you lose my phone and call your mama and, like, some things that and, um, come out from it. We'll talk and Aka, about so, I kept calling my mama's school and trying to talk to her, but she, place, but like, the every time I got transferred over to her room, her um, office, like, she didn't answer the phone. So, I left a bunch of messages, but had already, by the time, it was, like, the third message, we had already got to my neighborhood, and she was, like, out of the bus, and so, I still just got, I heard her sat on the bus and went to my grandma's house. But instead, I got off the bus at her stop, not my stop, and went to her house. And the thing is, her doors were, her um, her house door was locked and she didn't have the key. So you had to call her aunt. Yeah, I think, no, I think it was her grandma. Her auntie or her grandma to come pick us up. So they can take us to this hair shop, shop the shop that her mom worked at. Even her mom or her, or her um, grandma worked at. So we were there, and next thing you know, I guess my mom would start getting worried because she, when she put on my grandma house, she didn't see me there. And she was like, she started calling around. I think my cousin Schmidt said that I got off the bus with with Capricorn. And their spouse or their close family or their friends even like some like I don't know. So I just I know a lot of people who have shop number call it is what it is. We're and I got on the phone she yelled at me and that's just like natural and she got to like, the person put up to the shop their wife then they might go tell their friends and like pulled me out of the shop so and it's really just a cycle honestly. Took me home, I got a whooping, I got on punishment but it, I thought it wasn't my fault. I thought like, I should not have a punishment because I did call her multiple like times. But she's on the phone, so. Yeah. It hurt my feelings that day. I don't know, man. I shouldn't be on punishment. Because I literally called it multiple times, but she didn't answer the phone. And then. There's another story time. It's not about my. It's not about my friend, but it's just. um. Oh, that happened. I'm not trying to talk about something during the day. But, um. I, that, like, so many that are just about I used to work at this call center. <sighs> I would. I should. I would do call center at the same time, but that's what it's my. Uh, job because it gets, like, one of my favorite YouTubers she does. I work at this call center. I met this guy at the call center. I was calling him Tanner. You was real nice. You was real good. No so, so even I do these me and Tanner were in the same training class coming out. Like coming into the, um, was it the same training class while we was there? And so, um, 
where I remember in training, he was being nice to me. And then, when we got out of training, he was being even more nice to me. So, one day, he said, can we meet up after work? And I was like, okay, cool. He had got a hotel room and everything. But I wasn't thinking nothing was going to happen because he had a girlfriend. Which obviously looks suspicious to the average person. Mostly people's scientific... No, he was already living at the hotel room at that moment. Because he was still working on getting some stuff somewhere to stay. And he was girlfriend wasn't living together. Which it is true. They cannot melt stuff. However, they can't melt things. But then um, I got there and I'm been we just thought we just gonna be chilling and that's it. But Lord was I wrong. To melt steel yes. No bad. So ended up. Like, no, like that. And, and then, then you have to look at the other side, the argument, which is that okay. some I felt bad because I probably got her either saw his girlfriend once or something like that. I don't know. Probably had moved off, but had found a new man, and that man was single. And that's been a kind of been on and off for like three years now. And um, so I stopped sleeping with him like that, but he was still buying me lunch and trying to be nice to me and still trying to perfect his love to me through text messages. And then so. I don't think it's what he messed up at was that him and his girlfriend were sharing phones at the time. So, um, she didn't have a phone at the time to work on getting her phone. They were carrying her phone. And so, at this moment, at this time, they were they already living together. Me and we haven't done nothing else since that one and this was time. And every time he abused me, he loved me, he wanted to be with me. That that makes sense. And not only so, I hope you all got, got a girlfriend now. Like, and then, the next walls, thing you know, I'm in my house. I'm in my own um, apartment because at this time I had an apartment. I'm in bed, getting ready to go to sleep, and I hear a knock on the door. It wasn't like a. It wasn't a. It was a boom, boom, boom. It wasn't like a soft. It was like somebody was trying to bang my door down. And I was like, whoever this is, let's see what time it is. It's like. 12 o'clock in the morning. Why are you at my door? Who is at my door? So I get out the bed and go answer the door. And it's this fool talking about. Um, I must say, um, I don't want nobody to know who the person is. So I must say, let's get her, let's get her in that text. And, I'm, and so she was like, hey, um, right I met you. And he told me. If I want to be with you, I can come be with you. So I left, and I'm here with you. But here I am. Here it is. Him and his girl have been together for some years. So when they moved in together. Now here we are. You don't know me for, what, like, a few months? And you want to leave your girl for me? I'm like... Like him, you just infatuated with me. You do um, not so love me. You're infatuated with me. You're infatuated so with something new. But you don't. But you don't know me like that. I can be a crazy, deranged, insane person. In that work, I have to be a certain way. I can't be who I want to be. Since I'm in since we're in Carlton, I can't be my true stuff. So you don't know who I am truly outside of work too much. Or the person I am. So you can't be in love with me. Yeah, you know me long enough to be in love with me. Yeah, so I want you to do is go home to your girl and apologize. You made a thing right with your girlfriend. Facts, but yeah, I don't know. With 9-11, it's obviously a touchy subject. It's obviously a hard one. He begged to have sex again. But I was like, no. But then I was like, you know what? Since he walked all the way here, because he's cute. Yeah, and he walked to my house. And so I was like, since he walked all the way here, I might as well get him. Let him eat the biscuit one <laughs> So I said, so I called him. I was like, just come on back. We need to get some head and we need to get some head. He left. Head to this day. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and to this day, 
I think neither I think now they're um, either married or they got kids together from that time I heard. So they're still together. So yeah. I stayed in her relationship, so sis should be thanking me. Period. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish eating my food. Cause I I don't have like a, a real deal set up, but I'm gonna get set up in my in my apartment when I move. So if you start, I'm gonna start trying to post some more. But probably gonna be okay. But just bear with me right now. I'm in the process of getting ready to move out. So yeah. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Um, like and comment. To subscribe and share it with all your friends. And let me finish this church of chicken so I can take a nap because I'm tired because I've been on the road all day long, bro. All day. And I got more story times to come. I got story times about the call center. I got a lot of story times. So I might just do story times all summer and just do some videos for you guys. Um, probably do a makeup tutorial one day, do a hair tutorial because I'm going to be doing another hairstyle to my hair. I might. Um, record one of the styles I do to my hair and yeah, just start posting more content since I'm not in school this summer. So thank you guys for watching and